Hey, what's up guys? Pastor Patrick here. Welcome to Breakfast Club and Mix 5-6 on this lovely, lovely Mother's Day. To all you moms that may be watching with your students, we love you, we honor you today. Thank you for doing what you do. Uh, again, I'm Pastor Patrick coming to you this morning from Basement State Park. Just wanted to give a shout out to all the moms and say, hey, happy Mother's Day. Students, if you're watching, please eat breakfast with your mom this morning. Maybe plop her down on the couch next to you as, uh, as we have our talk this morning because this one is going to be all about mom, uh, which is weird because you're like, well, we're teenagers and maybe we're not moms yet. And my dudes are like, we're definitely not mom. Hang tight. Stick with me because we're going to see here uh, what God's word has to say about how we are to treat, think of, and love our moms. Now, first things first. If you're a follower of Jesus, then some of this stuff should kind of be uh, baseline for us. Uh, how we treat others, how we love others, especially others that follow Christ, is very important. God's word tells us that, hey, people around us are going to know us by how we love each other. That includes our moms. How we treat mom, how we listen to mom, how we obey, um, and how we even speak of our moms says a lot about how much God loves us. It says a lot about who Jesus is by how we treat our moms. If you're not following Jesus right now, or you say, I've never made that decision, I just happened to pass on this video today, stick with us. This word's for you as well. I guarantee you, you have a mother. Um, don't we all? But maybe there's even a third type of people that are watching this morning. Maybe you've never known your mom. Or maybe when we talk about Happy Mother's Day, something about that just doesn't sit right with you. Maybe you've got uh, a broken relationship with your mother. Or maybe you, know, you just don't know who mom is. Because believe it or not, God's word has something that speaks to each of our hearts about our moms and about us. So here's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to take a deep dive into a couple portions of scriptures that speak specifically about moms and how we are to relate to them. Some of you guys have stellar moms that are involved in everything. Some of you guys wish that maybe mom wasn't involved in everything. Some of you guys have never known mom. Some of you guys wish that maybe mom was maybe a little more loving to you. Either way, this is for all of us this morning. So let's go old school starting off. This is Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. It's a famous portion of scripture for um, a lot of reasons, mainly because this, this verse gets quoted a lot on Mother's Day, believe it or not. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about it as well. All right, so the Ten Commandments, one of which being honor your father and ta-da, your mother. It's very important to God that we love each other. It's very important to God that we honor those to where honors do. And so our mothers are no different. We're supposed to love and to honor mom. So on this Mother's Day morning, my question to you first off is, how are you choosing to honor mom this morning? When we look up the word honor, this is generally what we find. It means to hold in great esteem or to have a great respect for. If we're to honor our moms, let's go ahead and use that as a filter. So when we speak to or of to other people, or when we do things for, or to, mom, do we pass it through the filter of holding that person, good old mom, in high esteem or with great respect? Here's the rub. If we've done something that maybe doesn't pass through that filter, that's hard. Because again, we want to appreciate our moms. I mean, our moms gave us life. There would be no you and me without a mom. It's important that we know how to honor her. You guys shout at us in the comments. Here's, here's just some things that we can do to honor mom. One of the things that we run across sometimes is, I don't always want to do what mom and dad have to say. Let me tell you how we address this with honor. Your parents have been given great responsibility to see to your upbringing, that you know Jesus, that you grow upright, that you grow up in righteousness under God. And so it's important that we obey. You may not always agree with it, and that's okay. It's okay to not agree. It's not okay to disobey. That rhymed. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. We should listen because we have to trust. One of the big things about obedience is, is it requires trust. When we trust our moms that they're looking out for our best good, we should be confident in knowing when they ask us to do something, it's going to turn out well for us, even if it maybe is not the thing we want to do the most. This one will be super popular. How many of you guys have ever heard the term, I love my mama? I love my mama. How we speak about our moms says something. If we're going to hold mom in high esteem, then how we speak about her should reflect that. If we walk around saying, oh, my mom is so lame. Oh, I hate my mom. That really doesn't show any honor or esteem to our mom. And again, it comes back to trust, obedience, 
And if you disagree, again, I'm not saying that you can never disagree with your parents. You have a mind of your own. And as you seek God's wisdom, maybe you sometimes will have disagreements. But we have to be careful about what we spend. The, the Bible says that out of the mouth, the heart speaks. So if you catch yourself saying that something that dishonors mom, chances are there's a bigger problem in the heart that maybe needs to be addressed. No one's perfect. We're not calling you to be perfect, and we don't think that your mom's perfect. But understand, we should speak highly of our moms. They have great responsibility for us. They have great responsibility for their own lives. And God says that they deserve to have that honor. So we should treat them as such. If we're trying to obey God, then we have to honor our moms. We should speak well of them. All right, moms, if you're sitting down with your student for this part, this may be a tad bit uncomfortable, but that's okay. Because honestly, as we're honest with each other about who we are and our need for Christ, it helps us grow. It builds our faith. So the next thing I want to share with you guys is this. And moms, you can nod your head for this one, or you can play like it's not true. It's okay. Moms aren't perfect. None of our moms are. I can tell you right now, I love my mom more than anything. She's an amazing woman. We have five kids. I have two brothers and two sisters. I am the oldest, and somehow my mom did not go insane, as far as we know. She's not perfect. I guarantee you she knows that she's made mistakes. I guarantee there was times that when I was growing up that I knew my mom made a mistake. And that's okay. Again, mom, you're not perfect, and neither are we. One of the beautiful things about the gospel is, because it's about Jesus, is everything in the Bible points to the fact that we're not perfect. We can't be. We can't earn salvation on our own. That means, Mom, you may be an absolutely fantastic, stellar mom. You may be having dinner on the table. You may be working that 9 to 5 and killing it. Your hustle game may be above everybody else's. But at the end of the day, we still fall short of the glory of God is that we've gone like sheep on our own way. The beautiful part of the second part of that verse is that God, though, because we've messed up, God put our iniquity, our sin, our wrongdoing on Jesus. That's in Isaiah. We could never be perfect, but Jesus was. And so here's the hope. Here's the great thing about being a mom, and here's the great thing about having a mom, is that when you follow Jesus... We don't expect you to be perfect. Students, don't expect your mom to be perfect. One of the things that I want to thank my mom for is from an early age, like I remember still, I did not grow up in church for the most part. Like we were kind of in and out church when I was a kid. And it wasn't until my brother had suffered brain tumors that we really started going back to church. But I do attribute to my parents that I might not have known Jesus had they not put me into a church, had they not put me around people that were going to tell me that I wasn't perfect, but there was a God that was that loved me. Now, I say all that not to be a downer this morning. We're not going to pick on moms at all, but it's important to understand this. And especially, again, there's multiple different groups of people that are watching this this morning. Some of you guys are like, my mom is perfect. Thank you. And for you, God bless you. That's awesome. Continue to speak of your mom with such high honor and great esteem. That's amazing. Realize that she's not perfect, but love her for who she is because that's how God sees her because of Jesus. For those of you that are like, well, I'm not a Christian. I don't follow Jesus. I do have a mom and I love her very much. Understand, you and your mom, just like me and my mom, just like everybody else and their mom, none of us are perfect. And ultimately, that's what we're saying here. Moms, we love you. You're amazing. You're not perfect. But that's okay. God loves you in your imperfection because he took punishment for you. And honestly, the mom that can say, hey, I'm not perfect, but Jesus is, that's the kind of mom that loves her kids. And so we appreciate you this morning. We're wrapping this up. Why? Because it's Mother's Day and y'all need to go spend time with your mama. Mother's Day gift. What are we going to get her? Flowers, scented candles, body lotion type stuff. Something from Etsy. Ship lap. I don't know, something nice so she'll stop staring at my TikTok. The point is this. And again, if you leave with nothing else today, leave with this. Moms, you're worthy of honor because that's what God says. God says we're to honor you. So today, mom, I love you. I honor you. For you students, I want to challenge you today. Pray over your mom. I know that sounds really crazy. My mom prays for me every night that I would grow up to be a strong boy or girl and that I would be awesome. That's true because that's how they love you. Pray over your moms. Pray that God continues to show them his will in their lives. 
continue to pray that they would be encouraged and emboldened by the Holy Spirit to walk that path. Speak highly of your mama. There's plenty of people that'll make mama jokes about your mama. They don't even know your mama, but you have the ability to speak highly. Hold mom in high esteem. Honor her in everything you say and the things that you do. Obey, love your mother. She gave life to you. The end story is this, is that just like mom may not be perfect, we are not perfect either. And I, I would be remiss if I did not give you the opportunity this morning over pancakes or waffles or cereal or donuts or whatever brunch item mom wanted to have. We're not good enough. Mom, you are awesome. You are not good enough to save yourself, but Jesus is. And so this morning, if you've not made a decision to follow Jesus, and what I mean decision to follow Jesus, what I mean is this. If you've come to the realization that when things in your life are in your own hands, you tend to trip, stumble, and mess it up a lot. And when you come to the realization that there's no way that you'll ever earn salvation on your own, there's a God that wants to save you. There's a God that sent his very own son to take on the punishment that you rightfully deserve, that I rightfully deserve, so that you wouldn't have to be punished, but that you could have life abundantly. And when I say life abundantly, I don't mean that God's gonna give you every single thing that you want. What I mean is, God's gonna take care of you and give you everything you will ever need. Moms, we love you. Students, teenagers, anyone watching this video today, tell your mom that you love her. Pray over your mom. Pray blessing over her. Pray God's wisdom over her. Pray anointing. What that means is preparation for as marked out as being special in God's eyes. Students, point your mom to Jesus. Follow Jesus. Experience life in Jesus. That's gonna be it us this morning. If you've not watched Pastor Jeremy Mount, lead pastor of First Assembly Church's video on what it's gonna look like to come back into the church building, I wanna encourage you to watch the video right over here. I also wanna encourage you, check out some of our other videos. There's a lot of cool stuff going on on YouTube right now. That video and all the videos in our playlist are right here. Mothers, I hope you have a great Mother's Day. Again, we honor you, we love you. We know you're not perfect, and you know what? We wouldn't change you. Keep following Jesus, lead us to him. We love you, we thank you. Jesus, be with our moms today, bless them. This is Pastor Patrick from First Students. Hope you've enjoyed your breakfast. We'll catch y'all later. I'm out.